I recently updated my PS Vita to 3.63, and um, the reason why I did this is because I thought the Vita scene was pretty much dead at this point. Um, also, um, I'm not even a Vita scene, I don't think that piece, um, I'm already gone, I'm gonna go order a second PS Vita for just to 3.60. I don't plan on leaving, I just wanted to be able to play new games, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna update. Alright, and I had a yard look around trying to see why I thought 3.63 patched. Now, I think I actually figured it out. So, basically, um, 3.63 actually requires, uh, game patch files to use PFS encryption now. So, before it didn't. It's because before, you could take an unencrypted data.psarc and put it into Trails of Cold Steel, and it would undub the game. I had an undub in the game, and I thought, oh, I'll just update 3.63, and I'll still be okay to the undub. Um, no. I tried to launch a game, and it said file was corrupted. And you still, um, you still do, even with Hankaku disabled, you just be able to just run a game that had been patched through that method. The chance didn't change the eboot, it would run fine. Um, so that's the first thing I found. Also, um, GLW0, um, I haven't tried installing a GLW0 modded cat. I'm too scared to uninstall my um, account switcher to try and do that. But um, basically, I tried to insert the account switcher account. It was already installed. But I tried to insert it and through this error right here. So that's a big no. GLW patches are another thing. Um, so I suggest if you're going to make a install the account switcher as a VPK and then, um, you know, one that gets you launch um, PSN Wedge. Um, so it's a VPK and then back it up in QCMA and just keep that backup safe because, um, yeah, it still works. You can still do it as you'll see. I show a picture here. This is running on 3.63. I can still access the account switch. Meant I can still get into the sign up app and the Gitch still works with sign with switching accounts. That is still perfectly fine. Um, I did I did actually go go about saying VHBL right before updating. Um, just so I have somewhere to put files, I want to put my memory card without having to use QCMA, um, having a better, easier way to access my PSP even files. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not quitting the Vita scene um, yet, but I was actually able to, on 3.63, download a Japanese demo and switch accounts, so they haven't actually patched the Gitch. They've patched, I, from what I can understand, they've patched the method of installing it. I just haven't actually tried installing a GOW cal. I would assume it probably is for the same error, but yeah, um, I think I think I have a backup of my VPK version of the account switcher. I think I'm, I'm gonna hope I do, because um, I don't actually know if I do. Um, if not, I'll wait till I get my second 3.60 video, and I'll just I'll just make a backup on that. Um, it's not hard. As for package install, of course it's patched. Um, I tried launching it, it, it's patched. I tried launching it through on my I guess my. I guess my um, package install 2.4 install and click, click install legacy PKG, it's patched. So they didn't unpatch that, which kind of sucks. Um, but you know, this is Sony. Um, so yeah, what they have patched in 3.63 is a UX0 coding patch. Um, my my copy of Trails Cold Steel didn't work, I actually had to delete my save data. I actually had to delete my save data on Trails Cold Steel 2. Lucky it wasn't that far in. Um, I had to delete the whole thing and re download it. It was, it was terrible. Um, but, for the most part, um, yeah, I can access PSN now, which is great. Um, like I said, um, 30,000 times, I keep saying this, I'm not quitting the Vita scene, I am getting another Vita that has 3.63, has 3.60 very soon. Heck, I'm going to actually get one that has 3.63, and I'll make a video on how to downgrade the PS Vita via the motherboard swap method. I'm gonna do that because I have two motherboards, BO 3.60, and I'll just to try it out, see how well it actually works. So yeah, and that video will be coming when I get my other video, which will be eventually. Um, let me get it. Let me get Neptunia first. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here on this picture, I have um, the account switcher menu open. So if you install the account switcher through the game card, if you have the game card installed on 3.60, and then you update it, um, it will still work. However, um, if you ever restore your system or try and update your database, yeah, you're not gonna have a good time. Um, you won't, I don't, as far as I'm aware, you won't be able to install again. I haven't actually tested that, but I'm pretty sure you can. Um, 
you can still install homebrews via uh, via QCMA, that still works. And you can still install patch homebrews to QCMA, that still works. Um, so yeah, uh, I want to get home, I'm going to hope if I kill, I have a backup version of that account switcher. Um, and I'm just going to restart, I, I, want, I think the VPK version will be much more stable on 3.63. Um, because if you guys don't know, um, the reason why the account switcher works on, on like every single firmware, it actually works on the AS version still, it's just the map getting it installed. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks. They patched the method of installing it, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty down sure. <laughs> like, 99.9% .9 sure it's patched. Um, the method of installing at least. The actual switcher itself is not. So if you could find a way to run PSN Wedge on 3.63, you could be, you would be good to go. You would be able to run, um, you'd be able to run the, run the sign up app and switch accounts to your house consent. But, yeah, good luck finding a way to do that, to be honest. Um, I have looked quite a lot. I've tried running things through a proxy and um, everything seems to be encrypted, so there's no way I can like fool the reader into downloading an XML file that has um that has a what's it called? That has a modified um live area XML because I tried um I tried putting it through a proxy and then clicking the refresh button to download the new live area and yeah, it just it just gave me an encrypted file which kinda sucks. So yeah. Um, if you can find a way, if you can find a way to run um, a yeah, a system yearly call on 3.63, you can account switch. The actual sign up app itself has not been patched at all. It still works exactly the same as 3.63. So you can still, if you can get into the app, you can still use it. Um, but yeah, I just made this video because I haven't actually seen a video going going into detail as to what 3. 60 patches. So, as you guys know, um, custom themes, they still work if you had them installed before updating. Um, VHBL still works. Um, a patched games like Undubs for Trails Cold Steel, anything in UX Zero Cone patch, completely gone. Um, that's, that's just completely gone. Um, they also changed the PSN authentication um, off code. So, basically, the only way you guys on um, 3.6 will be getting PSN access is if 3.63 is hacked. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, game Sony. Um, anyway, that's about it for this video. Um, sorry for not actually having any video and just putting images over top of it, but whatever. Goodbye. Um, this is an update now. Bye. Yeah.